There are times when you need to extract each individual frame as an image in a video. And there are other times when you need to combine individual frames into a video. In this tutorial, I will show you both and provide use cases of possible applications to these tips. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. This week, my channel reached a milestone 2,000 subscribers. I just wanted to take the time to acknowledge this milestone and thank all of you who have helped me get to this point. I love all your comments and support, and I hope you continue to stay tuned as I try to answer more of your questions about video editing and shortcut. If you've ever commented on a video, hopefully you know that I try to respond to every single comment. So keep them coming and let me know anything else you'd like to see. Once again, I thank you for watching and supporting. Before I get started with the actual tutorial, I want to show you what version of Shotcut I'm working with. So in this particular tutorial, I am using Shotcut version 21.02.27. First, let me show you how to extract all the individual frames from a video. Okay, so first let's start with the source video, which I've already loaded on the playlist. And this is what this is, right? And this is the video that we're going to extract a series of frames. And so what I want to do is I just want to select a segment of this video, which begins maybe right there. So the starting point of the segment I can cut by just pressing I on the keyboard. And then I'm going to let this thing play and I want it to end maybe right there, which then I could also indicate the end point of what I want to cut by pressing O. So now this is the only thing that's chosen in that entire video. And so what I want to do is I want to take each individual frame and save it as an image, like a PNG or a JPEG, however many frames these are. And so once you've chosen your endpoint and your endpoint, all you have to do is export. So if you click the export button, the only difference is that I'm going to open this up a little bit here, drag this all the way to the bottom. Instead of exporting it as a video, you're going to export it as a still. So it says right there. And under the stills category, you can choose what the file type is. And in this example, I'm just going to happen to choose the PNG file type. So I'm going to click PNG right there. And in this drop down here, because we're pulling it from this screen here, I need to make sure that this thing says source. Once that's done, all we have to do is export the file. And it's going to ask you, where do you want it to export? So I happen to have created a folder called stills. And let's, let's name this file. Let's name this still and let's save. 
a new export job will show up as Shotcut breaks your clip up into images. Let's wait for it to finish. Once that's done, I can go into the folder called stills and you're going to see that it's actually converted every single one of those frames into an individual image. You can now take these individual stills, bring it into a photo editing program like Photoshop and manipulate it any way you want. And that's it. So in this instance, it looks like it's created 42 different individual images for me. Pretty quick and simple. Now, when would you ever need to extract multiple frames from a video? One use case that comes to mind is when you need to make edits to each individual frame in a photo editor to create an effect like the mask wipe transition, which I will create another video about in a future tutorial. So fear not, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Sometimes you want to freeze frame a point in time to create emphasis on a particular scene. There are also times when you actually want to eliminate every other frame, then put them back together to create a time lapse effect. I'm sure there are other use cases out there. Please feel free to comment below on any use cases I might have missed. Now that we know how to extract each individual frame, let's learn how to put them back together as a video. Putting the images back together into a video is even easier than breaking them up. Using the files that we've already created in the stills folder, all you have to do is open the very first image in that sequence. So we're going to go to open file. I'm going to go into the stills folder and I'm going to choose the first one of the series. Click open. On the preview screen, it's going to load just the first image. All you have to do is go to properties and click image sequence. Check that box. All of a sudden you see the preview in the window now shows the entire sequence. So what it's doing is that it puts all the images together into a video. And all you have to do from there is go to export. export from source, export file, and let's call this final stills. Again, it's going to load up the jobs window and that's it. And this is what the final video looks like once all the stills have been put back together. So we already know one use case, which is putting back the images together after we've extracted them. But sometimes you also would need to put frames together when you took time lapse photos or frame bursts from a GoPro. You might also be an animator, motion capture or claymation artist. So you would need to combine each photo together to form a video. Again, the possibilities are endless. I can't even begin to know all the other use cases for this trick. In any case, I hope these steps were useful. I know they will be for me in the future. Until I did this video, I didn't even remember how to do these things. I also wanted to thank everyone who's commented on my videos. I want you to know that I read every single one of them so thank you for supporting my channel and keep suggesting tutorials. So until my next video, take care. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of shortcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new shortcut related tutorial. 
every video on my channel was done on Shotcut. So aside from examples of what Shotcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials, all geared toward the beginner. Visit my Shotcut Tips and Tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.